Hi everyone, my name is Tony Willey, and welcome to another exciting episode of Skyrim Special Edition Mod Tutorial. Today we're going to actually focus on Bethesda.net and how to basically upload your your mod to Bethesda.net. Now let me be clear so you, you completely understand. If you're going to upload a mod, make sure it's an original mod that you created. Skull Kid Coat is my original mod that I created that I will be showing you how to upload to Bethesda.net. Um, or if it's a ported mod, you have 100% guaranteed permission from the original author with the assets that have also been given permission to use to upload to Bethesda.net. Ask them first, make sure you get permission as it is with any mod on the Nexus or Bethesda.net or Steam Workshop, okay? Um, otherwise, there could be drastic consequences that you may not want to deal with, <laughs> like your account getting banned and other, and other things that could result in other harsh penalties. So remember, it's, make sure it's a mod you created, make sure it's a mod or a mod you ported that you got permission for. And uh, once again, that's just the way we, we do things here in the mod community. Uh, we always look out for each other and take care of one another as well. So like I said, this is why I love this community so much. Alright guys, so let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is op uh, upload the creation kit, a mod that you created, minus the skull kit code is the example. Go over to file, make sure you log into Bethesda.net on the creation kit. Um, make sure your name to your account. Um, and I also make sure you want to um, log into Bethesda.net too on, on your browser. And I'm going to show you why in a minute. So go to Creation Kit. Go to Upload and Plugin for ar Archive. Go to Xbox One. An archive might be might not be necessary. Any f add files to the archive by hand. So this is a, if if you basically if you're uploading an ESP or if you're uploading a BSA, a BSA is going to pack the files. So I'm going to like since this is Xbox One, we'll go yes since I have I've altered the BSA, and it, it'll pack it for me and, and like it, a mesh will come here since I don't need it. I can just go to cancel. Um, we'll try this again. So we'll go to upload Xbox One, and then we'll go to regular um, the regular um, Skull Kid Co uh, mod. And uh, like I said, you just go to create new mod, and I'll put in the title Skull Kid Coat. Coat. So this is Skull Kid Coat with gloves, so. But without the RS patch. And we'll go, and I'll put it in my description blah, 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 and blah. Or I could do it the old fashioned way. Blah. Okay. Now that the description's in there, it'll, it'll let me know how much. Um, how many uh, characters you can have? So you can put about a total of 2,500 characters in there. It's not actually. It's some mods, believe it or not, require a lot of data and information to be put in when they're used. So unfortunately, this is very limiting for Bethesda not net. Um, but it does have a nice category section you can look up for what mods come in and out. You can import information from um, a file or export port this information from here down to your game if you want. And then all you do is you go to create and it'll upload the it'll upload the mod for you. Uh, make sure you click on you know whatever your mod is. Mine would probably be NCPs or models and textures. Mostly NCPs because it affects the, one of the NCPs. So yeah, click that and you can upload it. If you're going to update the mod, uh, it's a little different. So all you do is you click on your mod. Let's say it's okay, code for Xbox One. I'll go to Edit Mod, and basically I can just tweak whatever I want to tweak here and then click Update. Once your mod is uploaded, go to Bethesda.net. Make sure you're logged in on there, your browser. You go to your mods. So you go click here. Skyrim Special Edition, and you on the screen here, mine would be under Search Mods, under or under My Mods. As you can see, these are My Mods. Um, these are mods you basically you've liked. As you can see, these are My Mods. I've liked them. My Mods. I made sure they're under My Mods. So we'll go to Skull Kid Co for place for Xbox One. As you can see, it's here. I have at the bottom here. I've uploaded two versions before, so I've had to update it. Okay. So as you can see, people will comment here. Now, go to show more, and you can show people that this mod doesn't necessarily require. Um, this this is just a, this is just a kind of a version of what she looks like. So let's say now I want to edit, edit edit this. I want to add a picture, to, or I want to add a little box here to my um, my mod page. You go to over here to tools, and you'll have stats. You can see who you know how many downloads you've had, which is also right here. And you go to edit. You can add a video from the URL. You can add pictures. Um, you have to upload them from your browser, or you can use it from a website. And then here, you basically drag and drop whatever art edit you want for your thumbnail. You can also re-edit your um, your title. You can re-edit your um, your browser description. Click on the same thing you had if it's in the video or a mod resource or tools people can use. I don't know why they have mod resources. I'd only use this if you're a PC user. Um, work in progress mods. 
um, you know. So this is an example of DLC mod requirements. This is uh, basically I have actually this one which is for my patch. So I'll go ahead and show you that one. So go back real quick. Skulky Code RS patch for um, RS children. This is the mod I uploaded. I actually uploaded the patch to the creation kit as well. Um, this mod requires RS children overhaul. Um, and I actually had to put that there, and it also requires my original mod. All you do is you kind of click on this. Um, so let's so you go to edit. Give it a minute to load. And you basically go here, and you literally, like, literally put RS ch kids, or, you know, RSS children. And as you can see right there, boom, and all you do is click add. It'll literally put it in there for you, so you don't have to worry about it. It doesn't put the file with your mod. It just tells the, the other users, th this mod requires this in order to use this specific patch or this specific mod. Okay? It's trying to give you an idea. And then you can put the patch notes. Like, say you upload a new version, and you want to tell people what this new version does or what you've changed. You could add, add a small section here, like whatever you've done. Let's say, added, uh, I added a hat. That works for Skull Kid Coat. Period, you know, and then you just go ahead and you save it. Or you can delete whatever you want, you know. It's, it's real simple on how on how it is to use it. Anyway, guys, that's the breakdown for Skull Kid Coat. Uh, I'm sorry, not Skull Kid Coat. Um, how to upload your mod to Bethesda.net for Skyrim Special Edition. Um, I hope this guy's been helping you. And by the way, when you're always done, make sure you save. Save your plugin and then exit out. And if you want, you can also log out as well, um, you know, just to be safe for your passwords and all that for your for the creation kit, okay? Anyway, guys, that's it for my tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you guys like my video, please go ahead and like it and share it with your friends. And if you have any questions, go ahead and comment in the section down below. I will try to answer them to the best of my ability. If I can, you know, like I said, we'll figure it out as, uh, as, 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 as we go along. Um, if you like my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Once again, guys, everyone, my name is Tony Willey. Thanks for the click, and I'll see you next time.